Give us your top five reasons why he wants out of New Orleans. Number five, <laughs> money ain't a thing. We're going to talk so much about what he leaves on the table, but he's still such a young man. And with endorsements and appearances, he's going to find ways to still make that money up, which is why I think the NBA should institute a rule where you could pay one player as much as you want. Number four, I tried my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. <laughs> He had career highs this year. They're not in the playoff. The LeBron effect, clearly, which is why the Pelicans feel like they've been tampered with. Number two, the bigger stage. Okay? You want to go somewhere where they've won championships, possibly, and put you in the playoffs and put you on primetime TV? Number one, this is obvious, beat the Warriors. They up the ante now. When you start fight, starting five All-Stars from the previous season, players need to team up to try to take down the Golden State Warriors. Can't argue with any of that. Now, RJ, the one thing I would say is that maybe the Warriors effect is something that will take care of itself after this year. It feels like the league has been waiting out the Golden State Warriors, and maybe this summer we get it if Kevin Durant winds up leaving. Well, and, and that's the thing. They know everyone is hoping that they fail. Not fail from the sense of lose, but fail that, like, hey, will you guys at least give us a chance? Will you – well, Clay Thompson, will you go to L.A.? Kevin Durant, will you, will you go to the Knicks? I still think there's a better chance of all of them staying there to some degree than there is of them just kind of breaking up and becoming mortal. Explain the LeBron effect a little more. We had to go through that one quickly. Well, because LeBron, as an MVP caliber player, in theory started that for this generation when he left Cleveland to go to Miami. Okay, that paved the way for Kevin Durant to do the exact same thing. And we always talk about it from the best player angle. Let me take it from the teammates angle. This is your best player telling you that you guys aren't good enough. Mm. That's what Anthony Davis is now telling the Pelicans. He has to go to work with those guys, <laughs> okay? This is why you never truly see this happening in basketball. You realize how awkward it's gonna be yeah. when guys need to set screens for him, take charges for him, and get loose balls yeah. and things of that nature? When the best player leaves, he's basically telling the world, my supporting cast isn't good enough, so I gotta team up with somebody that's better than me to get it done. Fair enough. And so that somebody, if, if it works out the way we think they all want it, is LeBron. If you believe the Warriors are going to stay together and all five of them will still be there next year. Well, Boogie won't be there next yeah. year, right? That won't happen. But let's even say the four of them are still there next year and whatever pieces go around them. Can LeBron and Anthony Davis, if they trade away all these young kids, put together a team that could beat them next year? I think they could. I think they could put together a team that would be very, very competitive. We talked about who could take them to seven games. If their team is a little bit dispersed and all of a sudden you add some key pieces, and you will add key pieces, but understand why New Orleans uh, Pelicans are under the gun. Because at the end of the day, if you keep Anthony Davis, then you're going to play Anthony Davis. If you're going to play Anthony Davis, you are going to go lower and lower in the draft or higher, however you want to say it. They're going to have a pick that might be in the, in the mid-teens. If you just trade Anthony Davis and saying we're going young, rebuild, you can put yourself in a position now to to go get a top 10 pick. So if you're like, hey, we're going to keep them and we're going to do this in the spring, well, all of a sudden your pick can go from 7 to 13. Your pick can go from 10 to 16. That's not what you want. Do what's best for your organization right now. It's going to be fascinating to see how it plays out because now the organization's future and Anthony Davis's future, they're not aligned. No. So now everybody got to look out for their best interest. And so now the organization is going to try to get the best trade for AD does he decide that he wants to finish the season? Is he going to now start missing games? I don't think he's yeah. going to get traded in the nine, next nine days. Well, it, it, that's the point. It either happens in the next nine it's days and it's or sort it of nice happen. and clean, mm. or it becomes very awkward for at least a period You got to let of Boston time. get in there.